These are the forests of southern Slovenia. More specifically, this region is known as Loški Potok. And within the forests of southern Slovenia roams a sizable population of European brown bear. And scattered throughout these regions and inside these forests are special photographic hides set up by slovenianbears.com. And today I am going into one of these hides to photograph these amazing creatures. The journey starts here at the lovely guest house Anna. We've just had a spot of lunch and now we're heading off in the vehicle to the start of the trail that will take us up to the heights. The founder of slovenianbears.com is Miha Mlakar. This is the guy driving now. Since getting the idea in 2015, Miha has built 36 hides all of which are scattered throughout the forests of Notranska and the Kachuska region. Now where we're heading today is the Kachuska region. Obviously, for safety reasons and to comply with the law, the hides are located deep inside the forest. And Miha, is driving us through the forest along the forest road to the spot where we will then walk from the car to the heights. Now this distance where he drops you off from where he drops you off to the heights is typically maybe 15 to 20 minutes. It's not so long. Along the way he gives myself and uh, two other Italian photographers who are coming along detailed instructions on how to behave when inside the heights. The first rule and the absolute rule is to make no noise whatsoever. Any noise can spook the bears and make them run off, which is no good to you if you want to photograph them, of course. So he gives us a few simple pieces of advice, of which many people may or may not actually think about. The first piece of advice is to turn off the focus beep on your camera and also to turn off any focus assist light you may have. Flash photography is of course forbidden. You set off a flash, you're going to scare the bear off. But secondly, a flash is pretty much pointless anyway, but it's something to consider because you may or may not realize that it's automatically set on your camera. So we must make sure that the focus beep is turned off the focus assist light is turned off and any possible flash is turned off or disabled. Secondly, set your camera not to continuous shoot, but single shoot. So you're not going click, 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 click when you see the bear because those multiple clicks will be audible and they could disturb the bear. So set your camera to one shot and take one shot at a time, being extremely careful to keep any noise to a minimum. And hold five o'clock, still the same, just to all, to all relaxed. Look, different bears come seven o'clock, seven fifteen. Look, look. <laughs> Little gun already. Yeah. One of the ways that Miha is able to monitor the activity around his hides is with these cameras. These are automated cameras that he's got strapped to trees in and around the hide areas and they're triggered by a sensor of course um, and what happens is basically when a bear comes along it triggers the sensor and the camera starts taking photos and many of those photos are sent automatically to Miha's phone and when he comes to the hide like he is now he can look through 
those photos and he can see when and what time the bears were around. This of course helps to determine the extent of the activity around the hide itself. So as you can see, there are three hides in this area and because there were three of us, we were each given a hide of our own. Once inside, Miha warned us not to go outside until he comes back to collect us at sunset. Inside the hide, as you can see, it's a great setup. He has the wooden block there, so we can screw our tripod head on and fix our camera to the tripod, and then put the lens through the, the piece of cloth, camouflaging the rest of our camera and ourselves. We got in the hide around two o'clock and around four o'clock the first bear came. This bear, as you can clearly see, although it was big, it is a good example of how timid these creatures are. Because the bear was around for a while and it settled and it started eating and we managed to take a few shots. But then very soon after something spooked it and it ran off very quickly. A short while later though, two smaller bears came along and those two bears obviously got more comfortable and they hung around for quite a while. When those bears left, shortly after that, the smallest bear of the three came along. Now this cute little fella was really here for quite a while.
and the bears are eating corn that is laid out every day by Miha and his team. That is how he ensures that the bears get to know this location as a reliable source of food. And he lays out the, the corn in designated areas which are ideal spots for photographing. The distance is not too big, it's big enough to give yourself a safe distance from the bears of course, but with the long lens it's close enough that the photographer can get uh, can zoom in and get close-up shots of the bear while it's playing there eating and feeding. For this video you're watching now I was zoomed in with the Canon L-series lens. These spots are also picked out of course because the light is favorable in these areas for photographers. Now you may think that uh, feeding of the bears is not a good thing to do but it's actually common practice around most European countries and in Slovenia too. Now this is not something that Miha has just chosen on his own. This is done in cooperation with the local authorities, with the local hunting association and of course conforms to very strict rules and regulations. The spots where the hides are are well away from any inhabited areas and the places where they feed them are places that are ideal or on the bears trails itself and in the locations where the bears would go anyway. The feeding of the bears has uh, obviously in this case for, for photographing it's extremely useful but also uh, feeding of bears and other wildlife helps to keep the bears away from inhabited areas. Now if a bear gets really hungry it could well wander into an inhabited area and that causes trouble of course. So by laying out food across the forests in various areas like this and the bears get to know this as a reliable source of food this naturally keeps them away from inhabited areas. This keeps the bear safe and it keeps people safe from the bears. So there you go, a great day photographing the bears. On this day I saw personally four bears and photographed four bears. There were actually another two that came after uh, but I didn't see them, they were further down to the left of me 
and the two Italian guys saw them. But it was around the time that Miha came to pick us up, and when Miha approached, he whistled and he called out, firstly to let us know it was him coming, and secondly to warn any bears, obviously, that were around, that he was coming. And the bears left very quickly. So if you're looking for a place to photograph bears in Slovenia, then slovenianbears.com is the place to go. While it's never, or nothing, is ever 100% guaranteed when it comes to photographing wildlife, with slovenianbears.com and with Miha's setup, you will get the highest possible chance of capturing not just one bear, but many bears, like I did on this day. <laughs>